Good morning, welcome to Tuesday's Tip. It's Michelle Last here and I'm going to be showing you today how to make a gingham effect. Um, so this is the um, what the effect looks like, that's it in, in pink pirouette, that's it in marina mist and that's it in crumb cake but it also has the score lines on it too. So um, it's using an embossing folder, this one here, um, the striped one and what we're going to do is we're going to use a piece of, um, I've just cut a piece of um, 9cm by 9cm Whisper White. Whatever you're using just be aware that once we emboss this way we're going to have to turn it. So if you had for example a long thin piece, let's say for this one, if you had a long thin piece that you wanted to do you would run it through like this but then when you turned it you would actually have to do it in two sections because the paper overlaps the width so you'd have to do one section and then another section so it would be a bit more tricky. So if you can, if you could just use the width of the embossing folder as the width of your paper uh, maximum width that would be really really helpful. So I'm going to use a brayer today, yep yeah, this is clean I promise you well, it's as clean as I'm going to clean it anyway. Um, and this is the pink pirouette ink that I'm going to use. So what you want to do is just load up your brayer. I always turn my ink pads so that they, they're longer, so that they'll fit the brayer. Um, and I was just going to get that loaded up with ink. It looks no different because it's a very light pink and my brayer is already stained. And then with my embossing folder, I know that this is the front and the top because it has Sizzix on it and it has stamping up on it. I put my initials on the back and then what you're going to do is open the folder and on the inside of the front cover here you're going to put ink. Now I'm not going to go adding loads and loads and loads of ink, I'm just going to go from one end to the other um, and, add, and load up the ink and you can see, I don't know if you can see very well but I can see when I lay it against the white paper that this section here is the darkest, this goes lighter. That's because we've had one resolution of the wheel on the brayer. So I'm going to make sure that I put my paper in this section of the inked panel. Now what I find easiest to do is to line it up because obviously if I if I was doing it on the top piece I'd be smushing the ink. So I'm using my grid paper and I'm lining it up so that it's straight otherwise you're going to have gingham that's a little bit um, that's not straight and you may have to trim it down. can't guarantee this is perfectly straight but I'll do my best. Okay then we're going to close the folder and I'm going to hold it and grip the card so that's not going to move. I'm going to grab my big shot which I already have set up ready to go so I'm just going to slide it in here feed it through through the other side, just pop that over here and then when I open it up I've got a beautifully lined white and pink striped piece of card with the embossed lines in it. Now that's great, that looks really good and because we did it on this side we've only got the ink on one piece so now you're going to need a wet wipe and what you want to do is clean off the pink because you don't want to have certain pieces of the the, the folder that are darker than the other. Then you want to dry it off if you've used a wet wipe. If you've used a wet wipe you will find that it's really wet and the ink doesn't want to stick to a wet surface so dry it. Which is why we wear jeans or a towel or a flannel something like that. You could keep one of those um, but I'm just going to dry it. Now what I'm going to do is exactly the same. Now I don't know if you can see but there's actually already lines on my brayer. You want to get rid of those. So I'm going to really ink up my brayer to cover up the lines from when I previously used it. I'm going to do the same again and I'm going to leave it at that just on one swipe again. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is line up my folder and I'm going to pay, place the, the piece of paper back in the, the section that's got the darkest amount of ink but I'm going to lay it with the lines going the other way. Okay. Then when I close it up and press it and hold it. You can already see we've got the gingham effect going on but I'm just going to run it through the big shot again and emboss it. So we've got embossed lines and inked lines. It's coming through now. And then when you open it to reveal it you will see you've got a nice gingham 
pink gingham. Okay, so that's what the pink gingham looks like. That was lucky. It's half term. I just heard my daughter thundering up the stairs and I thought she might come and launch in here and speak to me, but she didn't. No, she's going in the bathroom. So, um, okay, so it's as simple as doing this. I find that sometimes I get little cracks on the paper. It doesn't worry me. It's the way, it's the grain of the paper and if you use the, because you're embossing it both ways, it's the cracking, I believe, of the grain inside the cardstock. I, it doesn't worry me and um, it's happened on some and not on others so um, just experiment give it a try um, and these are perfect for baby cards but also in any other colors just to give a really lovely textured background so I hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching bye